Well, I got this box all wired up. Uh, I still have to bolt down the amplifier. I'm leaving it loose for now. I'm gonna finish tuning and tweaking. But uh, here's the wire harness. chargers I got that guy up there to turn on the jail audio uh, Bluetooth receiver I did end up figuring out I could run the red wire to constant power and then I have the remote basically to trigger it on the remote in for the jail audio Bluetooth uh, controller that way when the switch, it seemed like it worked better this way. When you turn the switch on, it just automatically turns this on instead of having it, having to push both power buttons. I gotta put the stop here. I'll bolt that in in a second. Uh, the power button for voltage. I've been playing this for a while, so it's dropped like 0.1, it was 13.2 for a while. Got that guy charging your phone. A little waterproof cover. Got this guy down here. I guess I forgot to show you that. That guy right there. Got most of this covered in snake skin. Just for the big power wires. Small stuff I just in case I have to unsplice something or work on something later. He's got one of these like motorcycle chargers. Bam, bam, and then stop flashing. I'm sorry, disconnected to my phone. And then the four Kenwood Marine, the KFC series. They're only like 30 watts RMS, like 70 max or something. I'm not sure. So far, this little two channel lamp has more than enough ass behind it. This is an infinity part number right there, Primus. 600 to a 60 watts by two at four ohms 70 watts by two at uh, uh two ohms and it's it's pushing these speakers pretty hard i had to turn the high pass filter up to filter out some of the bass it was already starting to overdrive them at like half volume for the bluetooth and the gain was almost all the way down so far it sounds pretty sounds pretty good uh these are like 104 bucks, and the brother to this is the JL Audio Stage, and that's like 130 or 40 dollars. And I started looking at them. JL Audio only has like one review on Crutchfield.com. This had a lot, and it's the same amp. Comes out of the same factory. Everything's the same, down to every little switch. So, I figured I'd try out the Infinity to save me a few bucks. And we got this Redodo. This is the, get in here. the 50 amp hour, 12.8 volt. And it is, it's a big battery for, well, for a lithium, but it's 50 amp hour. I figured well, this should get more than enough play time. So I will uh, put the back cover on and we'll do some demo videos. Later guys. So this has been playing for probably at low volume about two hours. Uh, the battery voltage is still at 13. Uh, it's a 12.8 uh, resting voltage for the lithium. And you know lithiums, they don't drop voltage until they're empty. speakers are actually decently loud too. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, 
let's put on something that gets gets loud. That thing jams out pretty good. Pretty, impre pretty impressive, this thing. And then uh, this has got, like I said, power to it all the time. Gonna turn it down. Turn it up. Then you gauge your phone volumes. And then this, boom. It's off. And then the resting voltage, still 13. And then you turn that off so the display's on and on. You can use this separately. If you want to charge your phone? You guys want one of these? Let me know. Hit me up on my Facebook page or YouTube. Make a comment. I can build these for sale. This one's kind of a hefty box. It does have the 50 amp hour lithium battery in it, so it's not like super portable. But I can mix some with the 12 amp hour uh, Rodoto batteries. I will only say they probably only have maybe a six hour runtime. This should run, well, triple that, so. Anyways, later guys.